guys, Jen here from Made and Scents and Such and Be Scented. I am doing my last whip soap for today. This one is pear and pomegranate. And this one is a bit thicker than my last two just because this is a fragrance that does tend to accelerate. So, now with whip soaps, you have much more time uh, to work with them versus cold presses. So, even though it's an accelerator, really won't give me too much trouble. So I decided to go with a purple and a red, like a, a reddish. I don't really ever shoot for red per se, just because it's too hard. This will be more of a much lighter color anyways. Just because the nature of the beast in the soap. So this one's a little bit fluffier just because it was a fragrance that accelerates. So, which is fine. You can see, that, you know, it's not having any issues. So that's another benefit of doing a whipped soap have a fragrance that accelerates where the soap is so cold it takes a long time for it to really get away from you I guess I could say that's a pretty purple really enjoyed making these whip soaps today. This is three. It's all that I prepped for. Whip soap takes much long more preparation than cold process or even hot process. Um, the lye solution needs to be made up in advance and let get cold. Um, you've got to get all your hard oils ready and then um, melt you need to melt the really hard oils which in this instance is the mango and then um, let it kind of re-harden um, or re-solidify some so you can do it in the refrigerator or freezer um, you know, melt it in your microwave or whatever, double boiler, however you like to do it, and then move it to the fridge or freezer to start rehardening. Um, but you really got to keep a close eye on it to not get too hard. So I like to, my palm oil, um, my shea butter and my coconut oil uh what else hold on my cocoa butter um shea butter coconut oil and palm oil i like to leave solid in you're welcome in the my oil bucket and then um just melt the mango butter and then use the hot mango butter to help soften everything up and then um, once it's all softened up I kind of I use um, a masher that's for uh, it's like a mash and chopper I actually got it from uh, Pampered Chef you use it uh, that's what I use and kind of mash up all of the oils together into like a, a pudding consistency and then I just let it sit. Let me smack this down. This soap is going to be super thick or super tall. 
made my spoon. I want to swirl it some. But anyways, I use um, that smasher and kind of smash all the hard oils together because the heat from the hot mango butter kind of helps mix everything and um, melts, kind of melts some of the others. You know, coconut oil melts really easily. So, yeah. Anyways, that's what I do. And then I just leave it on the counter for several hours to kind of re-solidify some. So when I put it in my mixer, um, it's all, it's like semi-solid. It's easily mashed and moved and manipulated, but it's kind of solid, the oils. All right, smack this down some more. Lots of smacking, so hold on. Okay. Lots of smacking on that one. Super thick. <laughs> I even splattered it on my shirt. Let's wipe that off. I'll change. Now, my other batches were nowhere near this tall, but I had fragrances that were very easy to work with. So this is going to be a massive soap. Where this fragrance is an accelerator, it didn't really let my oils deflate. And normally, you know, it deflates some when you make whipped soap. It still floats, but it doesn't stay this fluffy. This one turned out super fluffy. It looks really good enough to eat, you know, if it wasn't soap. Smells wonderful in here. Mm. All right. I gotta take this gloves off. They're so big, they get just in my way. They cause more issues than not. It's I'm so clumsy with them on that I end up getting soap everywhere because they're too big. And I know I should just throw them away, but I can't just because they were free and yeah. Just manipulating this soap some. This will be a massive bar of soap. I think I'm going to drizzle some of the colors over top. I may give them a little swirl. I did this on the last soap and I thought it was really pretty. I'm hoping I smacked it down enough 
to help get rid of bubbles. We shall see when we go and cut it. If it's got bubbles in it, it's okay. It is a whipped bubbly soap. starting to get thick on me. Feel it already getting little chunks where it's like setting. All right. All right guys, we'll bring you back for the cut. I am back to cut the pear and pomegranate. And I'm actually anticipating this to have lots of air bubbles. We shall see. But here's the top. You can see the side, air bubbles. So let's see. This one is very tall. Um, it did not deflate at all when I was making it. Um, like normal. Wow. A very, very big bar of soap. That smells really good though. <coughs> the ends at the very bottom is the only place that you kind of have um, issues, but when I plane it, it'll be fine. There's a nice air bubble right there. But just part of the game when you. Do whip soaps. Mommy. What? Mommy. Huh? No one's in there jumping around, jumping around in the bathtub. <laughs> in the bathtub? Yeah, he ain't gonna put his clothes on. Oh my. Noah! What? Get dressed. Do you remember when, when we had the race and the racing? Game on unwrap, Ratchet. Mm-hmm. And she said, mm. yes, we see you. Now please put your shirt back on. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I like it. It turned out really great. It's so light and fluffy. I found a new way to bottle flip. New bottle flip? Such a huge bar of soap. See my hand here? It's very big. But it's still the same weight. Just a different process of making. That one was like really tall. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I really didn't have any trouble with it um, setting up on me until the very, very end. Kind of weird. <clears throat> so 
All right, after this one, we've got one more cut. And we are done. Well, I gotta do my samples. What's that one? Let's trim our samples here. And we're good to go. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you on our next video.